Welcome everyone. Let's turn ourselves into Abby Abominable from Monster High. We're gonna start off by gluing down those brows. Yikes! If you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial about how to glue your eyebrows down, leave me a comment below. Move on to the next step when the glue is dry. Next, let's grab a translucent powder. I use Mayron, Mayron, whatever, I'm not sure how to say it. Anyway, you let it sit for a couple minutes and then you dust it off with a brush that I cannot catch. Once we have dusted all of the powder off, we are then going in with the Athena palette that is on Amazon, I think for like $16. This paint has lasted me so long, and I use a spatula to apply that color all over. This light blue color is perfect for Abby's skin tone, and I went ahead and added the white paint to my forehead, my cheekbones, and my chin just to give it that subtle highlight. I find that a beauty blender works best with this type of paint and I make sure that it is very damp so I run it under the sink water for a couple minutes till it gets like real plump and then squeeze out the excess water and it blends perfectly. Now that we've got down our smurf-tastic base we're going to powder it down. I put uh, quite a bit of powder on this, probably too much powder. It took a long time to buff it out. Using the Avani Greg Morphe palette, we are going to mix the two colors, I Cry and Anthony, together to create the contour. All of the products that I use are listed below in the description. If you are enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials. For the highlight, we are going to use In audible noise or just any white shadow will do to add to your highlight areas your forehead your cheeks your chin for the nose contour we are going to use those same two colors i cry and anthony the goal here is we want to look more doll like monster high doll of course so we're gonna make the nose smaller by contouring it which will result in the eyes just looking bigger because um, that's what you want with a doll kind of makeup look you want big eyes small nose big lips the important part of contouring the nose is to add a little bit of powder at a time if you add too much it will just pack on there and it will be impossible to blend next step is to prep the eyes i'm using the thank me later primer the eyeshadow color is called maddie don't like the shade that is going on top of maddie don't like is lil papavoni what you wanna do with the eyeshadow is really pack it on. So just layer after layer of pigment so it really pops. I'm not too worried about blending for the eyes. Uh, what you wanna do is create those more harsh lines and you can lightly blend the two colors together. Using my Maven Beauty Black Liquid Eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and create that bold liquid line. Because I have hooded eyelids, I have to look directly in the mirror while relaxing my eyebrows to get that straight line. I absolutely love doing these monster high looks. So if you have a favorite Monster High doll, just comment below because I definitely want to do a tutorial for all the Monster High dolls. We are now moving on to the lower lash line. So right where the um, eyelashes are on your lower lid is where we're going to draw our liquid line. And then below that we are going to draw the big kind of Monster High looking lashes. If you do happen to make a mistake with the black liner, no problem, just take a damp Q-tip and just lightly wipe away the liner. And try not to poke your eye out. Yes, that is the goal. Then we are gonna fill in our waterline with just regular black liner, and then apply some big old lashes. I definitely need some brows. So we're going to dip our brush into, what color is it? It is Gretel's. Gretels. Hmm, interesting. So we're adding water to that color and you can use a makeup brush. I'm using a face painting brush or just a regular paint brush will work as well. And you're just gonna sketch out those brows. I definitely preferred the way my left eyebrow looked over my right one, which rarely happens. It's usually my right one that I, I like better. But we're gonna go back in with that uh, light blue paint with my spatula and just fix that up a little bit. Is this brand called Shaney or Shawnee? Uh, anyway, we're using that uh, lip liner in the shade Tutti Fruity. Have fun. 
once you have a nice even coat of that beautiful pink color, we are gonna go in with a regular black eyeliner. The brand NYX is amazing. We're gonna outline that so it has more of a cartoony look. Right here, I am creating a little bit of a shadow for more dimension of the lips. So I just take the black eyeliner and then I smudge it with my finger. Time for even more highlighter. Yes, I am using my Revolution uh, contour palette. It has a really nice highlighter in that. So I'm highlighting my cheeks and the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, a little bit on my forehead. And then you can either use white water-based face paint, which is what I'm using here, or white liquid eyeliner to create the dots that Abby has on her face. Now let's paint the rest of me. Well, at least the neck and chest area. Um, so again, we're going in with that light blue color from our palette, and then we're gonna blend that out with the Beauty Blender and powder it down. Add some more dots. I borrowed this vest from my little sister. I should probably give that back sometime. Eh, it's fine. The wig definitely helps bring the look together. I also love the headband. I got some fangs to put on my bottom teeth and the contacts. Beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating it. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.